Do you see that pale blue dot? In a photo taken on February 14, 1990, from 6.4 billion kilometers away, Voyager 1 looked back toward the solar system and captured Earth as a mere 0.12 pixel blur in the vast darkness. Without life, no one would have ever noticed it. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, originally tasked only with surveying Jupiter and Saturn, have become the greatest exploratory missions in human history. Voyager 2, launched first on August 20, 1977, flew past all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, the only spacecraft to ever do so. Voyager 1, launched 17 days later but traveling faster, soon departed the ecliptic plane and began its journey into interstellar space. Both have crossed the boundary of the solar wind, stepping into a realm of space untouched by the sun's influence. On November 28, 2017, a test signal was sent to Voyager 1. Nearly 40 hours later, it responded. A thruster that had lain dormant for 37 years reawakened, firing a single 10-millisecond pulse. A spacecraft designed to last just two years has flown for over 45, all thanks to plutonium-238 nuclear energy. But by 2025, that power will fade, and we will lose contact, forever. So where will the Voyagers go? Voyager 2 is headed toward Sirius, the brightest star in our sky, a journey that will take 300,000 years. Voyager 1 will pass near Proxima Centauri in about 70,000 years. Both carry a golden record, engraved with the location of our solar system, greetings in 55 languages, and the sounds of Earth, a time capsule launched into the unknown, hoping that some distant civilization might one day find it and listen. But the chances are nearly zero. Space is too vast. The distances, unimaginable. Perhaps Voyager's fate is to drift silently through eternal darkness or vanish like a faded data stream in the cosmic void. That pale blue dot Earth says it all. We are so small. Perhaps humanity may never leave this planet. Not because of technology, but because we are not yet mature enough deep within to go farther. And so, the most precious thing may not be to leave, but to protect that pale blue dot Earth the only home we've ever known.